Cincinnati is alive with a new and vibrantly growing energy. Restaurants, condos, and businesses are emerging at an amazing rate. From the newly developed banks on the Ohio River to over the Rhine, the city boasts some of the fastest growing business and entertainment districts in the country. We have new growth, several Fortune 500 companies, top universities, and sports franchises. Cincinnati is thriving. Our city ranks among the best places to live in the nation, yet we also rank among the worst in poverty. One in three of our fellow Cincinnatians lives below the poverty line. Over 50% of our children live in those poor households. And children who grow up in poverty are 32 times more likely to continue that cycle into their own adulthood. Despite our prosperity and growth, our beautiful city has a massive challenge. A challenge to bring hope to those without hope. A challenge to alter the pattern of generational poverty. And a challenge to help those who are trying to create a better life for themselves and for their children. No one wants to bounce from job to job to job. No one wants to want to just, you know, live from check to check. Like, that's not a goal of mine. That's never, especially with children. You can't live from check to check with children. Like, you can try it, but it's impossible. I used to work for Mahogany's at the banks. I lost my job at Mahogany's at the banks. When I lost my job, I lost my car. When I lost my car, I lost my place. I was eight months pregnant, living in an abandoned building, hustling, begging, borrowing for money got tired of struggling. I mean, literally, it was to the point that I was stealing food from gas stations because we were hungry. So I've been to the bottom of the bottom. You get to the point, you get to a moment, it's just you and self. And you and self is like, this sucks. This is not where I want to be right now. And so that's when you got to dig deep, put your big girl panties on, and figure out what we need to do to get out of here. And that's what I did. It was a process. We had gotten to a point completely by our own fault. We had worked ourselves into a mindset of a victim, of woe is me, and you know how, how could all of this be going on and happening to us? And it was really God that jumped in and kind of slapped us across the face and said, you need to get out. Like, you need to get out of this funk that you're in. What are you going to do? I had to take my kids. And I had to um, leave my husband. And, um... I wanted to work. I've been a stay-at-home mom for the um, past, like, seven years. I've been going between jobs that were not good jobs, were not supporting my family. And with um, the need for child care and um, the money, I didn't, ha I didn't have it. I was in transitional home forever. I bumped heads with a lady in there. Other residents, we didn't get along. And it's all because it's a bunch of women just trying to find themselves. Like we're all adults and we lost. We're lost, we're lost adults. My, my jobs that I was picking up were, were fine, but they weren't making enough money to really support my family. I was still living off of government assistance. I had no place to go. All of my jobs just seemed like dead ends. There was no opportunity to rise to a higher level and I needed something to, to open up my, my scope, my field. While Greater Cincinnati is home to over 2,000 social service agencies, many find the assistance difficult to navigate. Individuals have to go from agency to agency, traveling across town, retelling their story each time, unsure if they will qualify for services, and unsure if the services will actually help them reach their goals. 
many simply give up. It was rough because we felt like we were no longer in control of what it was that we wanted our lives to be like. The other agencies would come in and just take, kind of take over your money and say, well, this is what you need to spend it on. This is how you need to manage it. We're going to take this much of it in order to give you this kind of help. But the problem with that is all of a sudden now, we rely on them, and it doesn't help us get anywhere. It, it, all, it just makes us dependent. It's been heartbreaking sometimes to walk in somewhere and you know you need some type of help and you really can't get it the way you need it. It's, it's, it's disappointing. So when I first heard about CityLink, I didn't think it was for me, and I think that Part of my mentality was, well, I don't need it because I have a job, I have a place that I'm living, you know, money and everything is tight, but we're squeaking along kind of, and, you know, places like that that I've heard of before are really for people who don't have a home, who don't have a job, who don't have, in my mind, I was thinking almost along the lines of a homeless shelter mixed with, you know, a, a bettering yourself program. Well, that's not what CityLink is. It takes people that were in a situation like I was. I was, I was okay, I was scraping by, but they want to partner with me in order to better my life, to get me in a better situation, get me in a place where I can actually flourish rather than just scrape by. Our community realized that there had to be a better way individuals and organizations came together to create a new approach to reflect God's love to our neighbors. They created CityLink as the one place where clients work with a team of top quality social services all under one roof, where service coordinators act as trusted advisors, guiding clients through integrated programming on a holistic path to regain hope and to break free of poverty. First of all, CityLink is a faith-based organization, and um, I'm very, 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 you know, connected spiritually. So when I come, it's like dealing with like individuals, you know, you get the love and the respect that you deserve. That's the first difference. Second difference is everything is under one roof. I don't have to make a whole bunch of phone calls or run around everywhere just to get the help that I need. I just call up Monica and say, hey, I'm, I need help. And she will refer me or show me where to go. When you come in here, you can feel God here. I feel like he's worked through a lot of people. Um, at the right time to, to heal, to help heal me. And um, I'm very grateful for this place. I came here not knowing what to expect and it turned out to be one of the biggest blessings and one of the best decisions I've ever made. I met Monica and Monica, uh, oh, she, was, uh, she watched me cry for like at least 30 minutes. <laughs> But uh, she was really caring and understanding, and nobody really knew what I was going through. I know I was just wearing it like everybody knew, but just the fact that they were just respectful, it, 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 it meant a lot. Where CityLink partners with you, and their entire goal is to lift you up or propel you out. And that is what I think sets this place apart from any other agency. The whole idea is that it creates an opportunity for you to become independent, making your own decisions. That sense of ownership does give you a sense of, of, of pride in yourself, which is, I mean, that confidence is, is huge in order to carry you through the struggles and through, you know, even just the rest of your life as you work through things. 
here with City Link, they make your they get you focused. They get you a plan. It's called um, you to meet with a service coordinator, and you talk about all your barriers and all your problems, and then they get you on a track on plan. This is what you're gonna do: A, B, and C. As you get a certain age, you know you want to work smarter, not harder. And I felt like I'm working harder and not smarter. So that's what clicked. Like, okay, it's time to get a career. It's time to save some money. It's time to get on your P's and Q's. So I came to CityLink and they had a program, program called Cincinnati Works. And it was like a job readiness program. It taught us how to build our resumes, interview properly, our soft skills, how to professionally um, deal in the work environment, how to get along with people of different walks of life, anger management skills. Miss Sheila Quarles, who was part of Cincinnati Work, she was our teacher, and she has a saying, to be enthusiastic is to act enthusiastic, and to act enthusiastic is to be enthusiastic. And we have to say that every morning to get our blood going. And at first, she just be like, oh. but then after a while, we like, well, why we ain't seeing our enthusiastic slogan? Like, you know, it was a habit. <laughs> One of the main reasons I came to CityLink was for Academic Solutions, which is offered through Cincinnati Public Schools. Academic Solutions brought me into a place where I could not only just be refreshed on some of the things that I learned, but it restarted my, my mind thinking in an academic way. My ACTs and SAT scores were so bad coming out of high school. I'm dyslexic, so all of those things were kind of against me when it came to standardized testing, um, but I knew and this was going to be the place that would push me there. CityLink's partners are focused on teaching and equipping, helping our neighbors realize their full potential, and teaching skills for long-term success. Based on their individual goals, clients engage with different partners to advance their life holistically in a safe and trusted environment. When I needed child care and I couldn't, you know, take them somewhere else or they have somebody to sit with them, usually I would have to stay home. I wouldn't be able to go to work, go to school, or do anything personally for myself. My oldest one is special needs, uh, and my youngest, they've been through a lot and they know this place as somewhere to come to just to be, you know, themselves, be kids, you know, stress-free, worry-free. You know, they like it that I come here. They think it's my job. <laughs> I plan on going and changing gears next, which in Prescalis, they set you up to go into changing gears as soon as you leave. So I've already taken the classes. I just need to get the employment so I can start the process of getting a car. With changing gears, one of the things that you have to do in order to get to a place where you can purchase a car is you have to show that you've learned how to budget your money, manage your money in order to manage another cost, another payment, another thing that could possibly drain your bank account. I went to Beach Acres parenting classes because I was my children. I didn't, you know, I'm a single mom now, officially. So I went to go, you know, brush up on my parents and skills. Um, holistic health counseling. Um, Catholic Charities, Smart Money. Smart Money is awesome. Miss Michelle runs Smart Money. Miss Michelle knows her stuff. Miss Michelle makes you feel like you're gonna know your stuff when you're done talking to her, so even though you might not know, but Miss Michelle makes you believe you're gonna know your stuff. It's nice to be able to know where your money is going, and that's what Miss Michelle shows us, where our money is going and how to keep our money with us. Because <laughs> everybody wants to keep as much money as you possibly can with you. Clothing Connection, which is a place where they get us um, clothes for interviews and clothes to um, meet with them for um, future employers. A lot of people, they give you the skills to build a resume, but they don't give you the other things like bus tokens to make sure you can get to your interview and clothes to make sure you look presentable when you go to your interview. It hasn't been that long and I feel like a totally different, different person. Um, I've used um, Pretty much everything <laughs> in the building, <laughs> I've used it. And that's just the start. 
With continued community support and partnerships, the Collaborative can respond to new opportunities with integrated, holistic solutions. City Kitchen is a pilot program to train and equip clients for careers in the rapidly growing food service and restaurant industry. This culinary training program combines the support of new and existing partners of CityLink with training in soft and hard skills and real life working experience. I was taught when I was younger to break bread with people and food is how we communicate with each other. That's why I love cooking and I love coming to CityLink and City Kitchen. I teach you how to do knife cuts and make things from scratch such as stocks and sauces and now we're filleting rainbow trout and I made scallops yesterday. I have never made scallops in my life but I made scallops and they were pretty too. I was shocked. And, um, <laughs> at the last four weekends that so we go down to the Finley Kitchen, we make a menu and we serve that menu. The chef supervise what we do with all our stuff. We get there early and prep, we laugh, we joke. Our chef is hilarious. He should have been a comedian. And as we prep, we, um, we make our sauces and we taste them and make sure you know they taste good. Because if you want to eat it, you won't serve it. You know, we cook like as far as from here to here. Like literally they can reach out and touch us. That's how close. And it's, um, it gives people to see people's reactions when they ingest your food and when they, you done made it and you done cooked it and you know, you like, I did that. You know, people are enjoying that. People are satisfied. You know, people are unbuttoning their pants. That's a good sign right there. <laughs> God is working through our community to rekindle hope, awaken the joy and purpose of work, and prepare families for a brighter future. I just want to be better. I want to make better decisions. I work very hard to make sure I provide the best future I can for my kids. I want them to see a healthy relationship. I want them to push for their education. And I'm hoping that coming here Coming to CityLink, taking the right steps to better myself, gives them the example that, that I want to set for them so they can be better people, to make better decisions. I just want them to be happy. But when I want them to be happy, I want them to have the tools from me to make the best decisions so they can be happy. I'm at a, a good, even place right now, you know? So when I get up and I can go to the refrigerator and there's milk in the refrigerator and there's cereal to eat and the lights are on and there's soap and the TV's going. That what makes me get up because I want to be able to keep that going because there's a point there wasn't nothing in the refrigerator. There was no soap. There was no TV. There was no lights. I have a bed to sleep in. Being eight months pregnant and sleeping on the floor sucks. I have a bed. That's awesome. My goal through all of this is to be able to support my family. Uh, be able to allow my wife to stay home and raise our kids. I want to have some more kids. Um, and through my schooling, I hope to eventually get into clinical counseling for family and marriage. I see a huge difference in the way that I even perceive myself. Um, all of a sudden, I'm, I'm motivated. I, I have a confidence that I didn't have before. My wife recognizes it in me and she she kisses me on the cheek regularly as I head off to to work or to school and just says I'm so proud of you I mean that that alone makes me feel great and it it gives me a, you know a whole nother boost on top of the fact that I'm already motivated well my next step is I'm job searching I'm terrified of course because uh, I haven't been working but I feel like they've given me the confidence and the skills to, you know, get the job. So it's a, it's a lot of emotions going on when you're job searching, at least for me. The ability to support myself and the ability to pay my bills on time, that's a good feeling. That's an awesome feeling. That's a... So. My children were sitting at the table the other day eating pizza. And um, it was nothing special about it, just eating pizza. And I said, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for that moment, to be able to sit in my house, at my table, to be able to have the money to purchase pizza, you know what I'm saying? That, that right there is just a thank you, Jesus moment. It makes you feel good, grateful, appreciative. 
I've never, ever had anybody besides my mom do anything like they've done for me here. And not, it's not just me, they affect it. They're affecting a family, and it's changing our lives. These three courageous individuals have taken steps to transform their lives. But the journey is not over. Our community can support them and the thousands of others who are striving to make a better life for themselves and their families. Together, we can roll up our sleeves, put our faith in motion, and work together to more broadly and profoundly transform lives and our community. Join us for the journey.